you know, M. Night is is a, a really interesting name. You know, by the time M. Night Shamhammer's career is over, it's going to be really, really interesting to look back on it and look at the up and down. I mean, mm-hmm. he came out like a firecracker. Uh, did some really cool things. By the way, Jamie Cool sends in a super chat badge. Thank you, Jamie. Um, was I See Dead People his first big thing? That was his first big thing. I don't even know the name of the movie. Just I See Sixth Sense. That's Sixth the thing Sense, that yes. really put him on, on the map, right? And then I think it was Unbreakable after that. Mm-hmm. And then that's when everybody went wild, right? You start getting, I think it was Time Magazine covered say, with a big picture of him saying the next Spielberg mm. and stuff like that. And I, And quite frankly, from everything that I've read and heard, like he started to buy in to his own hype. Drank a little bit of his own Kool Aid. He drank a lot of his own Kool Aid. Started rejecting studios' inputs and notes, and eventually he started making crappier and crappier movies, highlighting in one of the absolute worst feature films ever created in the history of mankind. Uh, and I can't even remember the name of it now. The one with Paul Giamatti, uh, Lady in the Water. Oh, okay. I think it was called Lady in the Water. Anyway. Uh, which was just terrible. Yes, I think that was even worse than The Happening. So that's just me personally. I think it was even worse than The Happening. But anyway, so he, he does all that. But then he starts to make a little bit of a resurgence. He puts out this little film with Katherine Hahn, who was just in WandaVision, called The Visit. This little low-budget horror film mm-hmm. that I remember watching it. And I was like, that was actually pretty good. Like mm-hmm. that was, it was this little, low, I think he did it with Jason Blum from Blumhouse. Mm. And it was like, just, it was really good. And then he did, um, oh, what was I it? I bet you he let Jason Blum have some input. Oh, well, well, yeah, Jason Blum, I'll finance it, but you're going to take our input. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then he did the one that was the, the first one. Uh, he did, what was it called? Not split, or maybe it was called split. Oh and, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he didn't split. Um, and, and things like, so he's been making this little bit of a resurgence. Anyway, we've been talking for a little while about this new movie that he is coming out called old and a trailer dropped for it a while ago and not much was in it. Um, not much was in it, but today a brand new, uh, version of it, a brand new trailer for old dropped. And I'll tell you what, um, it's a really good trailer. Mm. Like I, it was, first of all, it was very classic M night. So like you definitely had that M night DNA in it, Mm -hmm. but it also kind of reminded me of the visit in the sense that he's reeling it in. He's doing some really simple. It looks like eight characters on a beach, right? Go. Yeah. And they start aging unexpectedly go. And it's just, I love movies that do things like in confined environments and limited cast. Mm -hmm. It just looks really good. And as the trailer progresses, like it starts to expand a bit. We start to see a little bit more and then, okay, now what the hell is in the cave mm-hmm. or whatever. And by the time this trailer and was And what the done, hell happened to that woman? And what, ha- like what happened? We, all these mysteries ha- popping up. And now I'm like, okay, I want to know what's going on here. Now, hopefully, unlike, what was the one? Uh, the Village? Uh-huh. I think that, unlike The Village, that had the, one of the coolest setups and one of the lamest payoff endings. I hated the ending to the village, which you could predict and call from a mile away. Hopefully, this doesn't suffer that from that same thing. So I'm not going to sit here and say this movie's going to be great, but the trailer looks great. I loved what I saw. You just had a chance to take a look at this trailer. What did you think? I mean, it sent shivers up and down my spine. Um, he he. M Night has a beautiful grasp of the musicality of film, and his and not just the musicality of scoring the movie from a storytelling perspective, but actually scoring the movie itself. Um, His use of music always uh, helps direct your emotion. And we see that in the trailer. Um, You know, we start out with this happy family just going on an innocent little vacation. And then there's that little tiny thing. Oh, there's no kids a lot on the beach. Huh. And, you know, it's almost said in in an innocuous way. And then the second that the kids start to run on the beach, you go, oh, those kids should not be on that beach. And (laughs) and so I love the way that there's just all these little bits that are just, you know, dropped and dropped and dropped. And it builds and builds through the course of the trailer. So I actually felt almost as if I was watching 
or as if I was experiencing what I will experience when I see the movie, uh, which I love. I love when a trailer goes, okay, this is how you're going to feel as the movie goes on. We're going to start out and everything's going to be okay. And you're going to think that you're fine. And then there's going to be a couple little clues and your radar is going to go off, but you're going to tell yourself it's all going to be okay. And then something a little scary is going to happen and you go, oh, I don't like that. But then all of a sudden shit's going to go down and it's going to get really, really, really bad. And that's pretty much the way that the move that the trailer went. And I go, OK, now I know what to expect from the movie, which is exciting for me because I can just sort of settle in and go, all right, I don't know what's going to happen story wise, but I know where my emotions are going to go and they're going to go on one wild ride. And that's that's pretty exciting for me. Yeah, it looks really, really good to me. By the way, JLE sends in a super chat badge in the live chat. Thank you, JLE. Yeah, listen, I, it feels good to be back in the business of looking forward to the next M Night movie. Yes. It's been a while, but I, I think we're there. This trailer is certainly great. And I like what you said about, um, you know, a, 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 a singular location with a limited cast because, and this is no disrespect to movies that do have all the, you know, the booms and the. Oh, yeah, they can explosions. be great. Yeah, they can be great. I'm not saying that they can't, but I, I always look forward to a movie that has um, limited locations because you have to you have to rely on the story. You cannot rely on a car exploding or you know CGI or anything like that. Um, you really have to rely on the storytelling and also with a limited cast and not a lot of opportunity for extraneous characters to come in and out, you get to know those characters and you go on the ride with them. So I have I have high expectations for old. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I believe it is in theaters July 24th, something I, like 23rd, that. 23rd, 24th, something like that. So late July, I will, uh, I'll look forward to seeing that. And I love Gabriel Garcia Bernal. Right. I've loved him since Ichu Mama Tambien, and he has just been absolutely magical ever since then. He chooses really good scripts. So I think that's another thing is I don't envision him as a guy who just wants to take a job for the money. So I think that he uh, he has a very keen eye when it comes to choosing his projects. So I, I, I think that there's some promise here. All right, guys, question is for you. Did you have a chance to see this new trailer for old? If so, what did you think? Did you like it as much as such? Maybe it didn't work for you. Whatever you thought, jump on down to the comments section below and leave your impressions there. Okay, guys.